Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby, and if you are new here, please remember to click the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So today I'm super excited and I'm probably the last person to review the Jeffree Star Bloodless Palette. Yes, I did. was fortunate enough to purchase this palette. It did came a little bit late because millions of people all over the world was purchasing the palette the same day it launched on the Jeffree Star Cosmetics website. Two weeks later, it finally came in the mail. It came in this purple box right here. Um, we're gonna open this up and show you what it looks like. So in here, it came wrapped up. It was pretty neat than what I'm showing you right now. It came with this flyer in there with the beautiful Jeffree Star in the front and what the palette looks like on the back of it. Um, when you open it, it has purple wrapping paper and then the huge palette inside. Okay, this is way too heavy to be holding with one hand. So first impression, this is gorgeous. As you guys can see, the detail on it, it is so beautiful. It's nothing like you've ever seen before. And the beauty community is so Thumbs up to Jeffrey for doing that. And when we open it, the palette. The purple bloodlust palette. <laughs> so, the beautiful palette's very velvety. Of course, you've got the star and the crown signature logo. And the back. So we're gonna open her up. Obviously, I did my full glam before filming the intro of this video and that's because I wanted to show you guys what it looks like up front first and then show you how I achieved this look as I did with all my previous makeup tutorials and reviews. However, I did separately record what the palette looks like untouched by these hands, of course. Now, let's talk about these colors real quick. So we have some mattes, we have some shimmers and some pressed powders in here. I can honestly say I love the red and the green that he threw in here. This is more like a super, super, super dark purple. And this off-white color up here, um, that is Your Majesty. Also like the Executioner, which I can't wait to try. It's like a black and a purple purple shimmer in there somewhere. Veil Serpent, this green. I will be doing another look using Veil Serpent and Sworn Enemy, which is this gorgeous green shimmer up here. And this Veil Serpent is a matte green, like a dark matte green. First impression, again, of these colors, they are super, super beautiful. It was really fun to play with. I didn't have any problems. There was no leave out on my face. This palette retails for, let me get my receipts because I don't want to be wrong. So the palette retails for $54. And I also got the gloss. And the gloss retails for $18. And this shade is called Sorcery. So I didn't order the gloss when I ordered the palette. I actually went into the Morphe store and realized they still had a whole bunch of stock left and I ended up got getting the gloss just in time to review the collection. I only had I only gotten these two pieces because of course the collection is, is it was very pricey for me per se and of course I spent I bought this with my own money. So 54 and 18 plus tax and shipping. Like it was almost $100 for just two items. So I won't say it's for everyone to splurge and buy. But if you did purchase this palette, I'm sure that you loved it as much as I did. And purple is, is I would say, my second favorite color is purple. So I did love it very much. I think it's worth the money with the packaging and 
just the detail and everything. You could tell that he really took time to put this together to create a gorgeous blood lust palette. Now that we're done talking about how beautiful this palette is, we're gonna jump right into this video. Okay guys, so I just did my eyebrows and primed my lids, as you guys can see. So now we're gonna dig into this palette, like oh my god. I haven't touched it yet, so I'm like super excited about it. Like guys, it is huge, it's a huge palette. Okay, let's not obsess about it. Let's go with Blood Queen first. So Blood Queen is right here. Betrayal, which is this one right here, and a little bit of High King, which is this one right here, to soften up the purple of the perimeter right here. Like, I really thought like the purple was too rough, so I just blended it in a little bit more so it doesn't look that harsh. And then we're gonna go back in with Blood Queen and we're gonna go back over it in the Okay, so next we're gonna cut the crease. And I am using Morphe Pure White Concealer to cut my crease with. we're gonna put right in the center is gonna be pink magic which is this beautiful shimmery purple right here I don't know if you guys can see that The inner corner of my eyes, we're gonna go in with Wet Jewel, which is this beautiful pink right here. So now we're gonna go in with Betrayal, this down here. And we're gonna go with High King. We're gonna mix them both and we're gonna put it under my eyes. And we're gonna finish this look off with some mascara and lashes. And today, mascara, we're using Clinique Black. This is the mini version. I also have the bigger version, same thing.
so to finish this look off, we're gonna be using the Gloss by Jeffree Star also. The shade is called Sorcery. So this is called Sorcery. From the looks of the bottle, like it looks like a light shimmer blush. But it's actually like a holographic purple shimmer, if that makes sense. But anyways, um, this does not do it justice, so I'm gonna show you guys how it look on my lips. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of this video. If you do like more videos like this, please give me a big thumbs up and comment down below what else you would like to see me review in terms of new products that have come out. I am, I am open to suggestions and I do read my comments as I get notification about them. Also, please follow me on my social medias. Of course, I'll always have the link um, on the screen provided for you guys and I will catch you in the next video. Bye